Hi, the purpose of this tutorial is to try to help a lot of you uh, people out there that might uh, actually really be pianists that uh, don't quite understand the technique of how to uh, approach a, uh, either a pipe organ or a harmonium or uh, the North American counterpart to that, the uh, pump organ, or uh, better known as, as the uh, reed organ in the correct terminology. Uh, the organ uh, has a nice, a beautiful sustaining power that uh, um, cannot be rivaled by any other instrument. But unlike the piano, of course, a lot of you realize, especially some of you that uh, might be pianists right now and are trying to help out your church or whatever, um, you're trying to play the keys, but you hear a lot of uh, spaces in between it. In other words, it's not legato enough. So uh, I hope to make this uh, series of tutorials kind of fun and uh, help you people along, not necessarily to be concert artists, but maybe to help smooth out some of those spaces and make you uh, sound more like uh, a true organist, and some of you may very well go along that way. I'll be using a technique that uh, actually comes uh, from my uh, uh, organ teacher, his name was Clarence Waters. He's long since gone. Uh, he happened to be uh, uh, the uh, first uh, American student of the great uh, organist and composer Marcel Dupre in uh, Paris, France. And uh, so uh, what I'm giving you is, is coming directly from Dupre via my, uh, my organ teacher of, of many, many years ago. Now I'll be demonstrating all of this on a uh, North American uh, reed organ or pump organ, a lot of people like to call them. Um, and many people have these and uh, what you should do is pull out the stop on the left hand side that says diapason and then pull out the stop on the right hand side that says melodia. This will activate the whole uh, set of reeds. Now take your hand, uh, your right hand, and put it up to the keyboard and there is your natural hand position and start to pump it a little bit. This will be the first exercise to try. Going from the thumb to the fifth finger and back to the thumb and making the connection smoothly, like this. With the organ it's best to, uh, with legato playing, of course, to keep the fingers in contact with the notes. What you do want to avoid is something like this because with the piano pedal of course you can slur it together but with the organ no such thing so you don't want to hear or you don't also want to hear the tones blurred together nope just a clean smooth connection Do that a number of times to get the feel of it, and then also uh, try it with the left hand. And do that as many times as you uh, feel is necessary, and uh, uh, you'll eventually get the hang of it. Now, um, there are other ways to connect notes together, and we're just going to get our first start with that just using the thumb and our index finger. In other words, we're going to travel one octave up and one octave down just using these two fingers but making legato contacts. Now this is called uh, finger substitution. What is going to happen is you're going to play with the thumb on middle C then you're going to play D with a smooth connection. Now how are we going to get up to E on the second finger when we're already on D here. We don't want to hear a space. So what you do is this. You put the thumb down, second finger, and while you're holding that second finger, hold it down with the thumb, and then the second finger can go up another notch. The thumb can hold it down. You can walk your way right up just as legato as possible. Then try coming down.
And don't be too harsh on yourself if you can't get it right the first time. At least it's a start. And then do the same with the left hand. Thumb to second finger, holding the second finger down till the thumb can hold it down. In other words, go down an octave and go uh, back up an octave. I think that would be fine. Um, just for a, a little uh, uh, hint or contrast of uh, the difference between organ technique and piano technique, I'm going to play just a few measures from, uh, of all things, a Beethoven symphony, uh, scored for a piano, adapted from the symphony. You can hear the difference if, if you uh, are not familiar with uh, uh, organ technique, most likely you would play this passage like this. But using organ technique and substituting fingers, just to give you an idea, it would uh, sound like this. Hope that uh, proved a little bit helpful for a start and uh, why don't you just uh, um, practice with it, uh, you know, don't kill yourself over it. This is supposed to be fun. And uh, then watch the next video in the series.